Okay, this is a quick video for Reynolds. We're just going to walk through, make sure that everything looks accurate on this sheet before we, before we uh, send it to the seller. So everything looks good here. It is a short sale. It does not currently have an offer. 100000 is the price. Okay, uh, R18, let's just check. Sometimes the information that comes across on the old, uh, from the uh, MLS, you know, if it wasn't inputted properly, is not accurate. So we do want to check these kinds of things. So R18 looks good here. Uh, for zoning, so and that's where that's where you find it on the um, the tax data sheet. Okay, uh, we come down. Let's see, Weaver Lake View Roy. I'm assuming that's fine for private school. Typically, I just say uh, St. Joseph High, which is a high school, a private high school that's not too far. So when in doubt, just go ahead and pick that. Um, actually, that's in Weaver County. If it's in Weaver County, pick that. Um, HOAP none, contact none. Okay, it's not a senior community. Um, taxes. Okay, so you may have already done this, but if you go to Weaver County Assessor, Weaver County Tax Assessor, uh, you can click right here, Assessor Weaver County, and you want to go to Parcel Search. Okay, uh, here is the parcel ID 09021029. So 09. 0210029 search Reynolds that's the right name so you got the right parcel right address um, balance due 96566 so we actually want to lower that uh, a little bit so 960 so we'll just round up to 966 okay so this should be 966 so in Weber County we, you can search there that's, that only works for Weber County it doesn't work for Davis County unfortunately this did say bungalow cottage. I typically say regular ranch because not, not as many people search for bungalows. Uh, single family looks good. Not a PUD. Year built 1941. Um, this actually, uh, if you look over here on the tax data, it actually says right here that it's uh, 0.2 acres right here. Land gross acres. Um, he actually sold a portion of this off. So we always want to check and make sure that that matches what's on the tax data. If it doesn't, we just need to make sure we check. Uh, always ask me a front um, uh, frontage facing, which way the house is facing. In this case, it's facing north. Okay. Uh, garage capacity is two. Mm. Parking capacity, that sounds good. Square footage, um, it said 674. I changed it to 672 because again, the tax data right here says 672 on the main level and 672 in the basement. So we want to make sure that we uh, are not over quoting square footage. Um, we got two bedrooms upstairs, one bedroom downstairs, one full bath up and one full bath down, so that looks good. We do have a patio back there, that's good. Uh, basement types full, finished, yeah, I'd probably call it 90% finished. Uh, listing date, uh, it's today. Expiration date looks good. Uh, this, we, we never want to say owner agent unless I own the property or Craig owns the property. Uh, this should always say property owner. Okay. Um, contact type should always not uh, always be secretary, not agent. Okay. So make sure you always keep keep an eye on that um, because uh, we don't want them contacting us directly. Um, always ERS. That's good. We're providing the pip photos. That's good. That should always be no. On short sales, this should always be 2.5. So good job there. Um, gross is good. Possession. We always put recording. Here um, and all this. Um, hopefully, you've gone through and uh, made sure that that uh, everything on the MLS input form. Let's see where is it at. I think I pulled it up here a second ago. Um, is it here? Yeah, it's the MLS input form. I don't know that we went through and. We corrected a few things, so I'm not sure if you had it. You see gas dryer hookup that was in like many of these. Uh, yeah, yeah, it looks like you went through and did this already. So, um, and the main things I really want to uh, always double check is the inclusions and exclusions. So, uh, for inclusions, we crossed out range and range hood. Um, range, range hood covered. And then, um, we excluded the microwave range, range hood refrigerator. Range hood, uh, perfect. Okay, excellent job there.
Okay, yeah, I don't think we, um, I think you already went through and, and did the rest of these, so I'm not going to go through and check those. Um, let's see here. Um, we do want to always say call agent for appointments, so great job there. We got all the storage things. Cash, conventional only, we're not doing VA. That's great, that's great. Single family, we got the marks there. Perfect. The only other thing is we need the shop, whenever it's a short sale, we always need the short sale verbiage here, okay? So um, let's click here to add that. This is a short sale. The sale is under the condition of approving the sale, requires reduction of the total commission, uh, shall be divided. We always put here, unless I tell you otherwise, 50-50. So 50-50 between buyer and seller's brokers, okay? And then also we're gonna have to, since it's a short sale, we need to make sure that, that, that we add in the agent remarks, the standard short sale, um, descriptions and everything that we're doing as far as you know how many offers we have who the bank is so until we get that all those details we, uh, we can leave those out but just just make a note that we'll have to add that in okay so I'm gonna go ahead and publish all these changes to the MLS and go ahead and watch this uh, well I guess you've already watched this since you're at this point and then uh, if you got any questions just let me know thanks